in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking shows. Amazing to be in the kitchen. Anyway, I just make you a fantastic diced jerk pork. And it's an amazing recipe, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my show. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus me. I use the Jamaican Valley season to marinate the chicken with the jerk season and all purpose. Mwah. It was an amazing recipe. And give it a try. Give it a go. Leave your comments below. And I love you all. Stay tuned. And honestly, we will be coming with a lot more different kind of recipe where you guys are going to love. So don't go anywhere. Please watch this video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, yeah, Facebook, you can Google. See, I decided to do some jerk pork today in the oven. It is diced pork. We're going to do something totally different for the fans. Eh? So basically, this is some diced pork which I have right here. And I'm going to be using the Jamaican bunny jerk season on the all purpose season. Cut up a scotch bunny pepper. Bits and pieces. We're going to add to it, bring in a lovely flavor, and make it taste like a real Jamaican jerk pork. First thing I must say. I have one scotch bonnet pepper but before we go into further let's get the ginger cut I'm gonna cut a piece of a ginger that's the first thing and we're going to find dice cut up the ginger very finely so let's go into business first thing ginger a lot of people doesn't know that ginger do work really nice pan jerk pork so that's the ginger Second thing, I have some fresh thyme, which I'm going to be putting on some fresh thyme. I'm going to love the flavor also. I got some garlic, which I'm already peeled. I'm going to put on some chopped garlic now. Garlic will just bring in a lovely flavor also to the pork. Nice one. So that's the garlic. Spring onion is a must. Yeah, like smell nice. Yeah, that's the spring onion. White onion is a must. Now that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor also to the pork. Nice one. Scotch bonnet pepper, make sure you wash your pepper. I'm going to show you how you can cut your pepper at home. So this is the way I normally cut my pepper. I normally use the scissors. You can use knife, whatever you like, but I'm normally use my scissors. And I simple cut it like this. This is normally the way I normally do it. Because I don't want to cut the pepper on my cutting board, so I normally do it like this. One owner pepper. When you finish with it, put the okay. Do the seed if you like, but I'm not gonna be using the seed. Because my daughter is going to have some of this pork to them. Then make sure you spray off the knife with some sanitizer that means get rid of the pepper all right guys second thing i have a carrot which i'm going to be removing the skin from the carrot and i'm gonna do, you don't have to put the carrot but that's the chef ricardo doing his own you know what i mean style of cooking and doing a little bit different from everybody else because this pork is dry so i want to do do it a little slightly little bit different and you know what i mean hopefully you will love it so all right so that's the carrot nice one i'm gonna put the carrot in it like this lovely um prevent the seed we're gonna put a few prevent the seed in it like this Lovely and nice. Yeah, and things looking good so far. Next, we're going to put a little bit of chili. 
little bit of dry chili uh, so I have some dry thyme I'm gonna put a little bit of dry thyme also inside of it and that will bring in a lovely flavor to the pork all right then we're going down to the bad boy now these are the bad boys all right the bad boys them is the jerk seasoning and the all purpose seasoning so we're going to put one two tablespoon of the jerk season smell nice and then the jamaican body all purpose season we're going to put one two two tablespoon second thing we're going to put the olive oil or vegetable oil whatever oil you like to use it's up to you roughly about two tablespoon I believe this bowl is a very small bowl. I shouldn't use this bowl, but hopefully it will be all right. So we're gonna take a time, put on our gloves, and we're going to marinate up the pork like this. All right, it's a very small bowl, but hopefully things will be all right. And remember, as I said, it's a diced pork, but I'm just showing you exactly what you can do at your home when you're doing certain kind of stuff like this. All right, guys? So let's take a time and marinate up the pork like this. If you notice, and then you know what I'm gonna do? Look at this. Well, let's take off these gloves. I'm gonna change these gloves. All right, and I'm going to put a little bit of browning, just a little pinch of browning, just to give it a little color. Not too much, just a little pinch of browning. As you can see, I didn't really use too much. That's a little pinch because I'm going to do it in the oven. I know you can get its own color. And if you notice, I don't even put paprika on it because the Jamaican Valley season, they work so perfect and that's why I work with it, with the Jamaican Valley season. And as I say, it's coming up to Christmas, guys. They need to get here season before it get too busy. And... You know what I mean? You have to go wait a little longer, but we know they're fast with their stuff, but I would encourage you to get your season now. All right, let's put on a little color upon it. Just a little tiny bit of color. All right, if you notice, I don't even put no salt or nothing on it, but just leave it just like this. Mm -hmm. It's looking nice already. All right, so when you massage your pork like this, supposed to get a nice lovely look look at that that looking lovely and nice welcome to the Jamaican Valley season welcome to the Jamaican Valley season guys you see that all right what I'm going to do I'm going to left the pork for make it soak for roughly about three to four hours all right and then we're going to cook it after in the oven and I will show you how to do that one all right guys so let the pork soak for about four hours the least fridge I was wrapping it and I have it in the fridge roughly four hours now I have it soaking and look at it really nice and looking good and lovely so I got a big open tray massive one too what I'm going to do is put the pork right in this oven tray Just like this, kind of pork already. When you're gonna wash the meat, you can either use lemon juice or lime juice or whatever you want to use to wash it. Some people use salt. I only encourage my fans them to use salt. I will stick to the lime juice or white vinegar. 
So we're going to put the pork in like this. And as I say, it's diced pork, so very easy to cook. Well seasoned up, as you can see. Look at that, that is fantastic and beautiful and nice. So that's exactly what Chef Rick could have been talking about right here. Just take a good look. So that look nice. That is lovely and nice. And that's what, what the Jamaican for the season do. I'm telling you guys, it's very easy and you know simple. So basically you can give it a try at home. So what we're going to do now is this. As I said, as this, um, as you can see, the pork looking so lovely and nice. I just give you a, a nearer clipping where you can, you guys can see exactly what's going on right there. But I have another secret which I want to share with the fans and to show them how to cook the pork at home. So look at this now. So when you when you do that now, what you can do, get two the foil. Put it over the pork like this and like this. All right, we're going to put this in the oven, in the oven for roughly about 35 minutes. And if you're using gas mark, gas mark nine or eight is good. If you're using a different oven, it's not gonna say like I'm using an electric oven. That's gonna say 175 to 180 to 35 to 40 minutes. All right, guys. So let's go into business with it now, all right? As I put it inside of the oven for 35 minutes with the foil. After 35 minutes, we're gonna check it and see how, it's, how soft it is. Then we're gonna take off the foil and put it back inside again. So it's a nice, good process we have to go through. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna watch some TV in the meantime on YouTube channel, all right guys? More cooking with Chef Ricardo. Nice and lovely. Basically, I just take the pork from the oven and I'm gonna remove the foil. See that? Alright. Smell nice. Look at that. Just take a good look at that guys. See that eat will come out of it? That looking so lovely and nice. Alright, what we want to do is drip the pork like this. Exactly. That's what I want to do. So if you drip the pork like this and you're going, that means that it's soft. Yeah? All right, that means uh, it's cooking. But let's get another fork and show you the fans of exactly what we are talking about. You want to tear the pork like this. All right? You say, yeah, it is cooking. Nice. So what you want to do? A simple. Wake up the pork like this. I remember we, we didn't have the file over it, you know. All right. So let's hold on. Let me see this piece. This is a little piece. I'm gonna try. Mmm. All right. What we're going to do now is to put back the pork in the oven without the foil. Allow it for it to roast by itself like that. It tastes wicked, honestly. The pork tastes nice. All right, so we're going to put it back in the oven like that and make it cook by itself. Nice one, nice and lovely. So basically, I just take this from the oven now. So what I'm going to do, because I want to get the liquid, so I need to transfer it out the pork into another container because I want to get this liquid to make a nice lovely jerk sauce all right I just want to get the liquid because the liquid is nice now to make a nice lovely jerk sauce let me find them see so what I'm going to do is just transfer over this into a, another container the pork 
iron must cook, but it doesn't cook 100% right there because I want this liquid to make a jerk sauce. So the best thing is to take it out of this tray. And I'm gonna give you another secret again because the way I'm doing the pork, remember, trying been doing it in the oven is a little bit totally different from when you're doing it on the barbecue grill. But this way, honestly, is a nice way how I'm doing it. And now I'm just taking out it and transferring it to another bigger ball into a big ball and you're going to see exactly because I want the pork to look like yeah it's maestro at the moment but I want it look like it's you know different from other other s pork yeah it look nice wetty and maestro and all these things guys it's jerk is jerk dice pork you know so you know what I mean you now I'm gonna get it like the wheel or other air spoke. Look, this gravy, I need it. I need this gravy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this gravy inside of a tub like this. All right, and I'm gonna show you how to make a jerk sauce with this one. Very easy. So that's, that's what I need. So two, I have that now. I have this one, this is a sauce, and then I'm gonna show you how to make a jerk sauce with that. For the jerk pork. Alright, guys? So, remember now. I take it out from this tray now, the pork. Because I want the sauce, and the sauce I don't want it dried out too much, and I didn't get the sauce. So what I'm going to do is going to, I should cut this, let it square, nice one, what we're going to do is, let's see, this way, a little bit better, alright, put in a fresh piece of a paper, and then I'm going to sprinkle about this pork inside of it like this, alright, Look at that. That looking so lovely and nice. So that look lovely and nice? Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put back this in the oven now. For a nice good 20 minutes. Not even 20 minutes, for a good 15 minutes. On the high temperature because I need the sauce of the pork to make the jerk sauce all right guys lovely and nice nice and lovely so basically remember I just pour off the sauce of the pork what I'm going to do is add about roughly a glass of a cup of water to it lovely but everyone cooks different you know what I mean and I always say bring flavor to your food is very important I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup in it. You don't have to. It's just Chef Ricardo ideas. As I said, everyone cooks different. But I like to bring flavor to my food when I'm cooking it. That means when you taste it, you have to taste something nice. All right. So that's this is the jerk sauce which I'm going to be making now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make it boil up a little bit and then we're going to be strain it off, run it through my strainer. Looking lovely and nice. Let's see the way it tastes. Mmm, that's perfect, you know. I like that. Really nice. The ketchup does bring off a lovely flavor to it. So now just make it boil up for a couple of minutes and then we will strain it off. Look at that, guys. That looking nice and lovely so far. What we're going to do, I'm just going to pop a little pinch of brown in, just to give it a little bit of colour. Mm -hmm. See? That's the colour I look for. So all I have to do now is 
to strain it off and get that perfect color, that perfect look. Yeah, that looking lovely and nice. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to strain it off now. Nice, so I just strain it off. And this is it right here. Let's pour it inside that box. Nice one. So let's say I just, I just simple strain it off and get it smooth and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So that's gonna make that just cook down for another five more minutes and that's the sauce ready for the jerk pork. Nice and lovely. I just take it from the oven guys. The pork is finished now. Soft and tender. So what I'm going to do is to shear it out. So that's a good news as you can see looking lovely and nice. So hopefully guys and like just love the recipe. So subscribe to the channel as we shear it out now all right. Thank you so much guys. Nice and lovely. I just shear out some jerk pork and rice and peas with some green bean. Take a good look. Look at the sauce. Everything looking so lovely and nice. Hopefully, guys, you like the recipe and subscribe. As I say, it's an oven jerk pork and it's a diced jerk pork. Very easy to prepare. Nipir, 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 nipir.